Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my collector's playthrough. And uh, today we're going to Blue Op. We're going to be fighting the Megapithecus. So I've got, got my army loaded up. So let's go ahead and head up there. I can't use that teleporter where it's at because I'll bring a, one of my breeding fire spitters with. Uh, let's come down here to make sure I don't grab anybody by accident. And Blue Op Terminal. There we go. Sure, the the necessary stuff is uh, taken care of. All right, so Root Devourer Pack, Megalania, Megalodon, Spino, Theory, and Thyla. I think we can work with all that. Now I'm probably going to be writing on on my Uranus here, right? So let's go ahead and get that bugger centered up. And now I've got to try to get 17 fire spitters into here. Actually, I should be working on the Pediasaurus first. Probably the biggest thing I have, so. But not by much, honestly. And behavior, especially AI, is a thing. Okay, good. Making sure. And it's going to be a lot of fiddly bits here trying to get everybody together. Good news is fire spitters at least stack up nicely. And I imagine that if they were buried, I could still bring them with, so... Keep hitting that leg and like rotating away. Yeah, downside, tails, right? They uh, you can get lifted up by each other's tails if you're not careful. There we go. And so can I. And my red panda is, you know, urging me on that, hey, it's time to go. We need to get this show on the road. All right, and now one downside is I did not bring the artifacts or the tributes with because I couldn't remember off the top of my head what all it was. I mean, like, for one thing, I could have sworn Spinos was actually Dragon, but I should have. I know I have the artifacts, and I'm pretty sure I have all the, uh, the tribute items, so... We're at, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fire spitters so far? So we're basically halfway there. I just wish there was an option where you could, like, superimpose a ring around this thing. And, uh, use that to determine where you can have people. People, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are people, too. But, unfortunately, there isn't that option. That would be great, though. That really would be. Somebody almost needs to add a mod for that, or make a mod for that. There might be one, actually. You never know. There are a lot of mods on the, in the workshop. The downside is all the... Uh, Well, there's a bunch of mods in Chinese, which I have no idea what they do, because, well, I don't read Chinese, so that's a problem. And from what I've noticed, a lot of them seem to be uh, ripoffs of N+. Which is open source, right? So you can you can use the Structures Plus for anything. But, uh, yeah, you only need so many versions of it, guys, really. All right, so basically I just have to keep going until I get to Lucky again. And there we go. That is the last Fire Spitter. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and head on back to base. Um, well, in a second here. Let me double check everything here. If I can somehow manage to get through. There we go. All right, so we are looking at 
Root, Devourer, and Pack. Okay. Megalania, Megalodon. Spino, Theory, Thyla. All right. And go there. Never even named the, the teleporter, honestly. Okay, yeah, you all got lucky at the same time there, didn't you? Just a big old fire spitter orgy going on over there. All right, so I moved all my tribute items over to here. And there was Thyla, Fairy, Bino, Megalania, right? There's those five. Uh, the artifacts, I believe, are still in here, though. No, no they're not. Uh, here. Yes, okay, so Root, Devourer, and Pack. You mentioned how annoying it would be if uh, you only have one total artifact in your inventory at once rather than, you know, one of each. But that would be maddening, really. Okay, I... Hit the button to drink, and it drained water out of my canteen, but it didn't actually refill my water. All right, so here. Can I uh, pop up here? There we go. And there's a cryolopasaurus nearby. Okay, great. Not that button. This one. There we go. Uh, looks like we're good, right? The Pedeosaurus might be a little too far forward, actually, looking at it now. Uh, got most of the Pedeosaurus behind the line, so. And it's not like I can rearrange everybody in, like, five seconds I got left now. So. Comes with, comes with. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And. It did, alright, cool. Everybody move over there. Thank you. Okay, they're, tr they're trying, right? All right. I'm not sure if it's actually coming up or not. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, let's get that started anyway. All right, come on, Mega Pick, Mega Pithicus. I should get his attention. I run up into the trees now, and everybody on aggressive. And holy God. <laughs> and dead. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Like the first salvo that my fire spitters unleashed. Just stripped away like a third of its health. Thank you. I did not get the little... Oh, I already got the... the Explorer Note data sheet thing whenever I killed a Mona of Algaro. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was a... Uh, a once per map thing or just a once total. It looks like it's just a... Uh, one time in total. So... All right. And, yeah, now we just kind of wait. That was, yeah, obscenely quick. <laughs> it really was. Uh, you hold the power of fire spitters, though. Took me longer to get out of there than the fight took. All right, guys. Well, 
Back to neutral. All right, so what did you have? Raw meat, okay. Well, that's an egg. Hide, hide. That was it, huh? Meat and hide. I mean, it's to be given, right? It, all that stuff goes into my inventory in single player. Uh, Yeah, I've got 220 element. I got the trophy. I got the flag. Got my fire spitters. And I guess we're just going to head on back to base now. And the fire spitter just got lucky yet again. All right, so how are we doing in here? Because now I'm breeding for mutations, right? Looking for a male with... Well, you have a maternal mutation, huh? What do we got? Um... Got another food mutation. Okay, great. Did you have any mutations? You did not. Okay. I'll just do that then. And how about you guys? Couple pair of twins, actually. And they're all just a single single melee mutation. Which is kind of funny that I'm bringing Dodos for melee mutations, but you know. Kind of curious to see how it's going to work out. Alright, and you can go into there. So there's not much point in even popping these guys back out before we go after the dragon. But uh, I'm not going to do that this episode, I think. Okay. Now, is this where I left the flag for... I don't think it is. I think the flag might be over here, right? Yeah, there's a spider flag. There's that. Alpha trophies. Very good. There's a dermis, which I didn't get from the broodmother. But uh, I can get all the broodmother dermises I want on Val, so... Now we're going to have a little bit of fun, right? I want to see how fast trilobites can get. Hey, come on. It's still not that fast. Even with 168% speed, I'm walking backwards, and it's mainly getting a little bit closer, but not... Not uh, huge amounts, right? Oh, okay, that's not mine. That isn't mine, is it? No. Yeah, we're being overrun by Lystros. Which is something I might actually breed up and get some mutations going on as well, because I think that would be hilarious. You know, I should have had my Lystro in the middle of all my fire spitters whenever I uh, did that XP dump. That... Probably would have maxed them out, actually. Ooh, Geostrombergia. Hello. Why did I have a regular bullet in my... How did that happen? No idea. Um, I want this. All right. Level 312 nonetheless, okay. No, 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 you don't fly. Okay, you stay here. Hello, over Raptor. What level are you? 156. Okay, nobody cares. Oh my god, I forgot it does that. <laughs> the cloud of like smoke or whatever it's supposed to be, or we hit a Geostrombergia for whatever reason, just goes. I mean, massive. I mean, it's the weirdest damn thing, but I mean, it, it works. All right, I might have to run back to Val here sometime and get some more kibble. Uh, let's see, we need like, like three of those. It said it needed three uh, extraordinary, right? What do I have? I have, ex I have extraordinary. It needed three exceptional, right? Yeah. So one tier below. So this will be fine. Uh, but you can have one of these. Right, and then you can have that. Forty-eight point two percent. Yeah, that is going to take three, which is a bit of a shame. 
it. Yeah, she. I like your colors, though. That's awesome. All right. Um, you stay there. Now, I think you have your own saddle. You do not. You just take a trend on saddle then? Might. Oh, not enough fiber. Really? Did I get really that close with the, uh, when I was grabbing fiber for the, uh, saddles that I didn't have enough fiber to make a trend on saddle? Titan fiber? Okay, yeah, I got the fiber now. And hide. Really now? Come on. I'm too far away to pull is what it is. All right. So there we go. And I don't believe you can level speed on the Geosternberg Gia. Yeah, you can't. You can see in the, the top left, it has zero levels on speed. Probably a pretty in good indication that, yep, yeah, nope, no leveling for speed. And, oh no, you're, um, where are you, a Kami? Kami creature? That's one of the things is to, um, look at it based on a mod, modded. Doesn't say which one it is, though. I'll try making a Kami implant, though. Provides armor similar to a saddle. Yeah. You can ride them without a saddle too, but yep. Call my creature. Okay. All right. So they're not a whole lot special, really. They're a slightly faster Tranodon. They do, however, they have two attacks, right? Let me go ahead and... They have a bite, and then they have a peck. And then an emote, right? And that's... Oh, yeah, that's right. They have a, a, a preen ability, too. I believe it heals them by 20 health whenever you hit X. So the peck attack is kind of interesting. It does... Basically, you can do headshot damage. Yeah, 592. So depending on where you hit your target, it depends on how much damage you do. And uh, kind of an interesting mechanic. It's not quite as useful in... What are you, level 252 Herrerasaur? I, yeah, the regular bite does 177. 197 is base for the peck, it looks like. There you are. I do not want to get bit by you, though, is the problem. There you are again, and... Oh. So there it is, okay. They really do blend in a bit, don't they? Whoop, nope. All right, let me show you. Cheesy, I know. But it, uh, it works. Next, wow. All the way up to three pages of dinos. There you go. And that gets rid of the toxin. Uh, I said it's cheesy, but it works. So, so let's go ahead. Um, you can regain stamina while gliding with these guys. 600 weight sounds okay-ish, I guess. And... I don't know what I'm going to do with this, actually. 
I guess I could probably use this to actually fly around and scout for things. Because it is one of the few things I believe that's actually faster than the Hatzig. It's just hard to test in single player when you get down to it. But uh, we got Scorpionators around here too. 252. I'm looking for another max level Scorpionator. So I've got some high level ones on Val, but I don't have any max level ones. So. Oh, Dylos found the Parasaur. Yeah, there's a lot of Dylos there, too. One, two, three, four. And that's just a weirdly looking bush. All right. And we got some Gigantospinos. We've got Tegnos everywhere. And yeah, that's about, he's basically about it, isn't it? Yeah, definitely a uh, faster thing to, uh, after I feel, uh, fight the dragon, we're going to try to fight a Yatabeo. Yeah, no, this is definitely a, a faster and easier way to get around. Oh, and it does have a, a sore attack, so, or not attack, but the ability to soar, so. Or to dive, I should say. So, I mean, they're pretty decent. I usually prefer using a Thalassodromaeus. Uh, pretty much most of the same abilities. Uh, it doesn't have a preying ability, which is a bit of a downside, but um, it actually... The Thalassos... Uh, oh, that was great. You know what? Uh, the Thalassos, I can actually land on water. Hello, little compy. Okay, and 88, 324, yeah, not worth it, you guys, really not worth it. Are they still following me? Yep. Hey, Segno, I'm going to need your help here in a second, right? Would you hold still for a second here? There we go. Thank you. Why are you hitting me? Oh. Did you all survive that? Wow. Man, how cranky can you get? Uh, nope. Okay. Oh, 348 Scorpionator. That's uh, not bad. Hi. Thank you for running me over. 348 would actually be fairly decent, but I think I've already got a 348 back on Val, so... Now, one of the problems with the island is there's really not a lot here that isn't on Valgiro. Actually, I don't think there's anything here that's not on Val. And on Val, it's usually easier to actually tame most of the things, or well, to find them anyway. Especially, you know, Megalania and Megalosaurus, both of those. Speaking of which, you never have produced any more toxins, so... Looks like I was kind of wrong about that. But I do have a Megalania that's almost at 100,000 max health. And they actually can move fairly quickly. Just... <laughs> Just has a hard time with railings, apparently. There we go. Good job. All right, so, hmm. 
I do have my Ogopogo, so. But yeah, after I beat the Overseer, I am actually going to respawn on this map because I want to basically have an empty inventory and try using, there's a command you can do to force this into yourself, which the problem is why I haven't been doing it is uh, it'll actually give you an Ascension. But if I've already got the Ascension, then it just takes you and all your inventory and uploads you as is, which is what I'm hoping for. Are you just like, Oh no, you're just like super dark green and black. Okay. With a blue head. Okay. With the sun behind you, you just look like you're pitch black with the red highlights. It's kind of cool looking. But um, I want to try it out first with a few things that don't matter before I like say pack up everything here and take it back to Val. And honestly, I'm probably going to have to do a, a quote ascension a few times on this map because, well... If I want to take like the, all the metal I mined here with, which I probably don't, honestly. There's this thing's finally taken care of, so I could, I guess, go ahead and that's for you. Oop, over to here. That was everything in there. Okay, cool. And let's pick it up. Here we are. My damn Bronto almost broke my uh Beating trough, actually. But yeah, I kind of want to get back to Val, uh, do some building. There's not much point here because after I'm done here with the ascension and everything, getting everything I want out of here, I'm going to uh, basically wipe the map because I have another series idea that I'm going to run uh, along with this. Uh, Primal Fear, it got to be too much of a laggy mess. But... Uh, I do have an idea that looks that could be fun that way. Still kind of fleshing out the details on it, otherwise I would share more, but it should be interesting. Let's go ahead and drop off pretty much everything except for my GS Sternbergia. That's the highest level one I've found so far, too. They're actually A, they're rare, and B, they are a pain to tame. If you get too close to them, they just book it. They just all ass are gone. Uh, you can net them, but the problem is getting close enough to actually net the damn things. But I think we're going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, you are fully grown now. Yes, you are good. You can go over here then. Uh, health one? Okay, good. Make sure. I'm going to use that one to... Read in some, uh, I'm going to try to get a couple mutation lines set up for Nigerian fighter spitters because I think it'd be interesting to have a, uh, have one that's got like 20 melee, 20 health, you know, 20 weight probably would be a good option. It's 20 stamina. So I'm going to need several breeding lines of these things going. And that's one of the things I want to start building back on Val is an actual dedicated breeding area where, uh, things aren't going to interfere with each other, really. Like, these things are great, but uh, they're a show radius option. Um, I don't think so, no. Feature's not been enabled. Oh, okay, well, that works. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly the radius is on this. I might actually go into the config and, though, and see if there's a way that I can drop the radius down to, like, say, oh, I don't know, like, 10 foundations. Probably less, actually. I would love it if there was a way to set that up, but not that i found so far. And you're still just at one. Yep. How about you? Twins with nothing going for them. One. There we go. And I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to get the trailer bites to be able to breed. But, uh, the idea of a high-level trailer bite swarm just sounds fun, honestly. Uh, the downside is I'm not going to be able to send them against anything that's got knockback, or large amounts of knockback. But, uh, although watching, like, a Bronto swing his tail and just, like, this cloud of 
trolley base just like go flying would be kind of funny. But uh, I want to see if I can maybe do that because it just sounds it sounds hilarious, honestly. So I want to give it a shot. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.